what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and i just did a poll and i asked you guys to submit a question and i'm talking to somebody right now uh greg roland i'm sorry if i said that wrong i was waiting for you to respond back so i could direct this video exactly yes absolutely great idea great idea my man greg yes seen it in real time because today we are going to talk about why you should get that motorcycle if you are on the fence you have been watching videos you're teeter-tottering ah oh, should i get it should i not get it and i'm going to make an attempt to convince you to buy the damn bike what is going on guys all right i'm going to attempt to make this video this is uh not scripted and uh usually i kind of have some kind of script to mine oh that is right in my face right in my face but we will see what we can come up with as far as why you should just get the damn bike and the first reason on why you should and uh this is kind of like my most important reason so we're we'll talk about it first is because you just don't know what's going to happen in life and what i mean by that is sorry dude i, I didn't see you there's a motorcycle there if you didn't see uh should i get off of the road that road um hmm. There, we'll stay on it. It's fine. Uh, the you just don't know what's going to happen in life, and if you are waiting for like the perfect time or the perfect opportunity, it's never going to happen, or rather, it probably won't happen. Uh, for example, a very personal thing for me is me and uh, my my girlfriend um we broke up we were together for a very long time seven years is a very long time and um we didn't break up because of this but one thing i feel like i kind of robbed her of was having a child because i was never ready to have a kid because of finances and i don't even know what career i'm gonna have and all this stuff and i heard somebody explain or tell me before you will never be ready right it's just going to happen and you know life finds a way and things honestly really do have a way of working it out like it, it just kind of does so if you are kind of on the fence of getting your bike because you're trying to find the perfect time or the perfect opportunity it probably won't ever be completely perfect and that time right now right now could be the perfect time you don't know that until things happen but you just don't know life is very very short which brings me into the next one yes the ironic part of it is buying a bike could potentially make your life shorter but life is short and in my life personally what i'm going to try and do or my goal in life is to have as little regrets as possible and not buying that motorcycle could whoa bump could be one of those regrets that you end up having in life because maybe later on something does happen 10 years down the road, five years down the road where you really can't ride a motorcycle. Maybe you're a young man and you've got your whole life ahead of you and God forbid you get hurt at work to the point where you can't be in this body position. You can't ride a bike. So now you will never get to ride a bike. Life is weird. It's fantastic. Life is absolutely fantastic, but you just don't know what's going to happen so because life is so short is definitely one of the reasons why i think you should get the bike 
because again you just don't know you you just don't know how your cards are going to dealt get dealt me and my buddy we always talk everybody in life is going to get dealt a card you might not have the card now you might have your two cards and you're waiting on the flop but everybody's going to be get get dealt cards in life whether it's the big c word maybe it's something like osteoporosis maybe it's some kind of kidney thing whatever it is everybody is going to get dealt a card so while you don't have that card yet let's make the most out of it and get that freaking bike let's see uh another reason why you should get the bike and we'll kind of get into lighter moods right let's get into some lighter moods uh another reason why you should go ahead and get the bike is because it makes you smarter i think it makes you oh that bump i think it makes you smarter cognitively because when you're on a motorcycle you're not daydreaming or you should not be daydreaming that's why i kind of have a problem with that word throttle therapy because the idea of getting behind getting on two wheels and zoning out and forgetting all your problems uh, kind of weird to me i mean i understand if you're putting all your energy into focusing and you don't have time to think about your personal problems okay but you know you should never ride angry or anything like that anyways i'm getting distracted cognitively it helps you because you're constantly thinking i'm constantly thinking of what gear i'm in i'm constantly watching these cars i'm constantly watching these intersections and paying attention to everything and it's so rapid fire that your brain is being exercised right your eyes are being exercised everything is being exercised your re re uh, reaction is being tested and ugh, and uh blah, 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 blah. you're wow i completely i completely forgot so good on the cognitive am i right no but it it it, it just makes you cognitively smarter in my opinion because again you're thinking of all these things i'm looking at the guy behind me these cars here these intersections this turn what speed i want to be in what gear i want to be in all that stuff i'm thinking about and i'm thinking about which direction i want to go we'll go this way so cognitively i think it helps you out a lot and I don't know I think that's a, a, a pretty good reason to, to go ahead and and get your get your motorcycle that looks really nice. if I go that way I won't see anything but there's a truck there so I can't just do that yet but I can go straight so yeah we'll, we'll do this screw it we'll do this but look I'm thinking look there's this car here we're gonna do a turn signal hooray paying attention these are intersections watching this guy he don't have his lights on near this guy in front of me cognitively we are thinking all the time let's see another reason why you should get a bike is because just the general experience this right here this right here that i'm witnessing on my bike this beautiful freaking sunset is amazing and it is more amazing on a bike it, because like you know w riding a motorcycle is kind of like walking but faster because you're outside and you're moving through space and time it's fantastic you're smelling things you are hearing things everything's more fun you know being stuck in downtown pittsburgh traffic sucks but being stuck in downtown pittsburgh traffic on a motorcycle sucks a little bit less so it, it makes things more it makes things more exciting right it, because it, it's a change of scenery but the point that i was making is why you should get the bike is just because of the experience and i can't really explain to you the experience you you really unfortunately just have to do it to know what i'm talking about i mean i can try and articulate to you how it feels uh just the the ultimate control your life is in your control i mean it's always in your control for the most part but a little bit more so on a bike and just how you feel I, I, you know it, 
it's it's hard to put in perspective like you really just have to experience it and life is all about experiences even if you get your bike or you know take your msf course you should take your msf course first because you might get on a bike and immediately realize okay this is not for me and that's fine there are lots of things that aren't for people but you don't know until you know so if you're like on the edge of on the edge about it and you don't know take the msf course take it's well in pennsylvania it's free i know it's not free for a lot of other people nobody has lights on uh, but take the msf course see what it feels like you might really really enjoy it and you just don't know until you know you know so that is definitely another reason why you should go ahead and get the motorcycle because of just the experience that i'm i can't tell you you know the the wind in your face all that fun stuff it's a legitimate thing you're you're always pretty much out in nature and that kind of brings you to the next point with your adventures i mean you don't have to go on adventures honestly going to the store is an adventure but if you really if you start like touring and doing some interesting stuff i've seen that bike a couple times you um it's it, i don't know i was going on a point and i got distracted by the little bike um uh, yeah it's it's it it just makes everything better and you know that experience of being on a bike is just something that you have to try let's see um another reason why you should get the bike um you should get the bike if your biggest reason of not getting a bike is fear and for that i think you should get the bike now if it's a real fear and by real fear i mean like a more um personal fear like for example i'm gonna go straight we're gonna chase this sunset um like you have kids and if something happens to you a serious injury or death and now you can't work and you are the breadwinner and that puts your family in a financial situation i get it that's a legitimate fear but if you don't really have any of that and you're just scared because of uh you know getting hurt or whatever i think you should definitely get the bike because the thing about it is fear is a liar fear will prevent you from doing a lot of things in life and to circle back the last thing the least amount of things i want to have in my life is regrets and to not do something because i was scared or because uh you know what if i crash okay what if you never crash and you never know because you never got the bike whenever you have all these regrets again these these bring up uh just painful emotions you know later on in life but if fear is one of them I, I think whenever you conquer your fear you make yourself a better person because you start realizing what kind of person you are and that you actually really honestly can do whatever you want to do uh is riding a bike dangerous absolutely it's dangerous can you get killed absolutely but the thing about it is you can get killed in life doing absolutely anything kill walking your doggy so having that fear just because you could get hurt isn't valid enough in my opinion because again yeah you might but you might not and the might not and all the reward that comes with that to me and my personal life outweighs it but if you have family and all that i i totally get that but you can do things to mitigate that you can watch all these courses you can take all these courses wearing all your gear watching very educational content and just surrounding yourself and being obsessed with what you need to do you know your life is in your hands i always say you're the only person who's going to pay for your actions and that's true that's your actions if you're doing something positive or negative so you know and i i, I wasn't going to bring this up but i guess this is a quick side note you know with that being said somebody who should not get a bike 
is somebody who watches Jigsaw Bra and Mad Max and thinks I could do that or I want to do that that's eh, probably not a good reason to do that I mean you do what you want at the end of the day but I don't know I, uh, there's too much risk involved and you know then then your ego kind of gets the best of you and that's kind of another thing a good thing about being on a bike because with like I said with the fear thing it also makes you really know your limits and test your limits and will humble you hopefully you don't crash when you get humbled I've been humbled did not crash and well I just crashed that one time but uh, you know it, 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 it makes you really figure out what kind of person you are honestly and you know whether whether you're gonna succeed or, or fail in it I mean I was going on a general point and I, I actually got distracted because I was thinking of something else as I was talking I don't know does anybody else do that does anybody else think and talk two different things or is it just me I don't think I'm not the only one I'm not special I'm not the special but that is another reason why you should get the bike uh, because it will help you grow as a person I think because especially if it's fear related I mean because if you're scared of this and it's just a motorcycle and you don't have to do it what's going to happen whenever it's a fear that you make a decision that you can't necessarily control you know what I mean this is a fear that you can control and you can actually mitigate things but there will be things in life that you can't control and you can't have any uh, influence over so I don't know I think it will help you grow better as a person uh, let's see is there any other things before I let you go because I don't want this video to be too too long um yeah I mean I, I guess just to kind of circle back to what we were talking about in the beginning you know life is very short and you don't know what cards you're going to get dealt and right now if you can do it go ahead and do it you won't regret it worst case scenario is well i guess worst case scenario you get killed then problem solved right you're not scared anymore i'm kidding that's not funny uh one of the worst case scenarios is you don't like it and you get rid of it okay no big deal that's it somebody's hell oh, i thought you were getting into motorcycles like ah, no, it wasn't for me so it just wasn't for you it's not a big deal but i don't know it's uh it's a fantastic experience it really is it's it's made me learn more about myself it, it's pushed me my limits um, as far as speed perception reaction all that stuff uh, it helped me financially as far as helping me set up goals to save up financially for a motorcycle and all that stuff so I mean it, all positive I mean I, I'm not gonna get into the you know oh it's you should get a bike because it's cheaper because uh it's really not cheaper i mean i don't know it's cheaper than a car but if you have a car and a bike and you're paying for both and the bike is a toy it is going to get expensive uh you know that lie that we like to tell the tell our, tell each other that um that uh you know it's cheaper on gas mm, eh, it is but you're gonna be putting 10 bucks a day in it all the day there is a ambulance behind me what situ what what direction are you going where are you at are you in my lane i can't tell now i lost him he's still behind me somewhere i'm getting over here i see him but i don't know which way he's going i want to go this way because i want to turn around watch he'll be going this way if he goes this way i'm going to be ticked don't go this way okay good i wasn't sure can i do a yui i mean i can do a yui am i allowed to do a yui is the question do i see a sign that says do not do a yui no sign here boss okay uh, i'm sorry i was getting distracted uh but i think you know i, I guess i'll let you guys go um because that's those are honestly a lot of my uh 
my main points. See the importance of turning your head, looking where you want to go. But yeah, those are the big ones. Uh, especially, especially, you know, just life is short and you don't know what cards you're going to get dealt. You don't know what the future is going to be. So get the damn bike. It, it will be a good thing for you in probably more ways than one. I hope that this video has helped you. I hope that it was enjoyable to watch. At least I hope the scenery, scenery was good. So if it was and you enjoyed it, like, share, comment, and subscribe and let me know how I did and let me know your personal experience and what the final push for you to pull the trigger and get your bike was. I would really like to hear from you, you stupid light. All right guys, I will see you in the next one.